Hello everybody, FunshineX here. Welcome back to more Volcano Block. Uh, we did it. I <laughs> ground out all the arcane against the Terra Steel and the Block of Dark Ender Steel. And I, uh, Ender Steel. And I beat, built the next two machines. They didn't seem to be that difficult, just more grinding. Uh, one thing that really helped here was to get a um, Thermalily to eat my lava. And so I've just been putting the uh, little amplifying tube, throwing a cobble down there. That'll turn to lava and he'll eat it and throw some mana in the pool. Um, so yeah, so we got everything. And then it tells you, do we have our Solus book? To make a multi-block out of it. So we go to exploiting the composer. Um, so you make this composer this way. Don't accidentally make blocks of dark ender steel like I did and have to <laughs> make four more blocks of ender steel. Uh, and here's the multi-block. Multi so it's obsidian. Um, the composer, 9, that's why it make, has you make 10, because 9 plus the 1 for the composer. Uh, so the ender steel blocks, and then these are ender steel fence, or some ender steel whatever. Um, so we make that, and it says you need to put it in range of your mob farm. Um, so I have enclosed it, because things were escaping and running away. And I built it right up here, on top. Uh, nice little fence down here. <laughs> Look at the mess down there. Um, it tells you as part of the the guide that you need a bunch of different types of animals um and i didn't want like creepers and skeletons blowing up and all that kind of stuff so i just went with all passive mobs so i've got cows sheep pigs chickens and rabbits all being spawned together um they're not all the spawners aren't 100 percent upgraded um i don't think they're all in range i need to stand down there uh but yeah so we need to go ahead and make this thing um Actually, I'd put the parts in here. <laughs> um, maybe it finished while I was getting the recording software loaded. No. Um, bummer. I think we might have lost it. Because it says it drops it below. Okay, guess we're starting over again then. Um, that's a bummer. So the recipe for the Midnight Jewel is a blood crystal and ash. Now this has to be this exact ash. If you use this ash, it will not work. So make sure you turn it into the normal ash and the blood crystal we need an emerald, glue, and redstone. So let's just go make another one of those. Emerald, glue, and a redstone. Did you just go in here? Stop! Dang it! <laughs> You're going, not supposed to go in there. Alright, I made some glue. Okay. Cook my emerald. Got it. And then combine all these. No, don't throw it on the ground. Oh, come on. There it goes. Let's hit the wrong button. All right, we need to make that into a full bloody gem, and then we're gonna need our ash. And again, craft it into the solace ash. If you want it to work. I think I have just a little bit of blood here ready. <laughs> um, how do I get this thing to go? I gotta smelt it first, again. Now it's a crystal. Do you know you can just right click on this to take your own blood? Interesting, huh? Much easier. Whoa, it's making me sick. <laughs> All right, back up here. 
and we'll make this crafting recipe and we just click in here so that goes in the middle ash click here that should uh, put the um, recipe or the, the item on top of this if you don't see it that means you made the, the, the multi-block wrong or put the recipe in there wrong um, and I can see this says 0% composed and 0% activation um, it's got to start grabbing those mobs down there um, I've got two murky orbs in there that might not be enough for it to see I might have to go take one so it doesn't seem to be doing what it's supposed to. Can we make another set of murky? That might just help. Um, those are glue around ender dust. Let's see if we can have better luck this time. Oh, eight glue, huh? Oh, don't break that. <laughs> Grab an ender dust. There we go. And you can see this is zero out of 32 essence. That means we need to combine it with 32 essence. Uh, just grab anything that junk that you don't want. Like, I'm never going to make polar bears. Probably never going to make ocelots. Fill this puppy up. If you put too many, it won't work. But there we go. Now let's see if this uh, starts sucking the mobs in. I believe the default range is four, and then each murky orb adds one. There it goes, now it's grabbing the mobs. And then we're 2% composed, here we go. I gotta find out where it actually delivers the, uh, the item to, because when we look at this it says, uh, um, not sure. Yeah, it doesn't really say where the item goes. So, maybe it just ends up right here, I don't know. But yeah, putting some oscillating gears is important here if you want it to go pretty fast, because you can see it's only at 20 and we're at 16 gears. So if we were at zero gears, we would still be at like maybe 1%. We're already have a quarter of the way done. Um, after we make the Midnight Jewel, we are going to uh, do something to it. Cut it up with a sledgehammer into Stardust. Uh, there's another thing we can make, the Ender Link. I don't even know what that does. Or the Soul Catalyst. That's kind of cool. Um, but the Stardust, we can then compose again with 8 Ender Steel. And this is 512 duration, whatever this T means, to get 12 Neobium. Um, to get this in the first place was 256, so it's twice as long to get the Neobium as it is with this guy. You can see he's spinning faster, that means he's getting closer to be created. We're just spawning mobs like crazy down there. <laughs> 47. It must have been on the, the wiki that I read that this outputs somewhere. And it does have a little hole right there. Maybe that's where it spits it out. I would just like put a chest somewhere so I know that if I walk away, the item's not going to just like fly off and disappear. Because I had one of them crafting up here and <laughs> it ate all the material and didn't give me the item. I had wolves in there before <laughs> instead of sheep, and they were killing all the rabbits. It's like, oh, poor bunnies. I 
And then look what happens when you get um, too many mobs in there and you have to go clean them up. <laughs> and you have a sword that's got Smite, Looting 5, Sweepness 6, Sweeping Edge 2, Bane of Arthropods, Fire Aspect. Uh, you get some fun stuff. You get uh, all that. <laughs> Just like tons of meat and everything. And I can actually start eating some of this meat because it will help us with our hearts. So we get a credit for that one. Let me put the, uh, well, that's not really belongs in here. Oh, what else can we eat? We can eat a cooked chicken, a cooked steak, wolf meat. Is this cooked wolf meat? And I eat raw wolf meat. I don't know. Yeah, we'll eat raw, raw wolf meat. Raw pork hawks. Sure, we'll eat raw pork hawks. <laughs> Excuse me. Raw pigtails, too. Nice. Um, one cool thing about that um, that black gem that I right-clicked on is it gives you hunger. So if you want to eat a lot of food really fast to level up your, um, your food journal, which we can go check out here. Looks like we're at 25, so we need five more foods to gain some more hearts. Um, but yeah, those those things are pretty a nice way to uh, be able to eat a lot of food. Oh, there it goes. It's done. And it does just pop it out in the front. Cool. Midnight Jewel. Uh, quest complete. And let's get a few more murky orbs, I think. Just to make sure this thing has all the range it needs. I think I'm missing a murky orb down there. That's probably why it's not spawning a, spawning a ton of rabbits. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that one needs a Ricky Orb. Don't, don't come this way. I'm just trying to put one of those in there. You guys stay where you are. No. There we go. You know what I should do is just put levers on those so I can turn them off. Ow. So, something's eating me. What just happened? I got withered? How did I get withered? That was weird. Oh, it's this murky orb. It's it's doing bad things to me. Okay. Well, we need to do something to it. Like, get a pickaxe on this thing quick. Oh, you shouldn't hold this thing. Okay. Stardust. All right, and then we'll craft our stardust with eight ender steel. Oh, that needs to be done in the same thing up here. I probably don't need that chicken farm anymore. I have eggs for days. All right, so that will give us our neobium. And this is gonna take a lot longer. The activations is 5x. I think it says I'm seeing five different animals, and so it's going five times as fast. Um, so spawn a lot of different types of things if you want this things to go faster. But we're doing pretty good. It's actually, I think I'm spawning mobs quicker than this thing actually can eat them though, so I probably want to turn uh, some of those oscillating gears off. I think I've got like eight on each spawner. And maybe eight blood gems as well. Two murky gems. I'm gonna go grab a chest and just verify if this thing does spit items into a chest or if you need some kind of hopper to crack, catch it. All right, and let's also get the pigtail. Let's see that one. Cool. I actually like want to stand away so the mobs aren't spawning because I've got too many of them.
You can see the green puff of smoke. That's when a mob gets snapped. I'm up here snapping. Go Thanos. Snap those mobs away in the smoke. We're halfway done. What is next, guys? Because after we get Neobium, we're moving on to the final chapter. There is technically the automation challenges, which we'll think about doing. Um, but chapter 5, some chemical stuff, uh, musical plant seeds. Ah, I wrote the mod that originally did this, where you use a jukebox to make seeds grow faster. Anyway, um, that's kind of cool. Musical plant seeds, Mary Jane and Normies. Oh, fun. I think I have the Mary Janes. Okay, that's not bad. Um, chemical combiner needs neobium. Oh, goodness. All this fun stuff again. <laughs> oh goodness okay um does this take neobium as well it does and i'm just wondering am i gonna have to make more than the eight we're about to get uh if we want to make more neobium gears which make our spawners work better uh we will soul totem i don't know what that one does Okay, um, a fission reactor, so we're going to get some more uh, RF, apparently. 98 fission casings. Barium. Oh, this is all chemistry. A uh, fission reactor, I think this doesn't, it's not power, this uses power to fuse chemicals together. I'm gonna get beryllium. Emeralds. Okay. I guess we're gonna go into chemistry. Alright, there we got the ingot of sorrow, so that must have spit this out. Did it put in the chest? It did. Okay. 12 neobium. Chapter 4 complete. Woo woo. Alright. Now we're in here. Cool. Uh, another star. It says we can either kill it the vanilla way or using the calculator in the analyzing chamber, or using chemistry. Cool. You can see that in the analyzing chamber, it's a 0.01% chance. Probably not gonna do it that way. Chemicals, you need a ton of different chemicals. They're all hard to get. Uh, or we can kill it the vanilla way, sure. Um, then it wants us to open the elven gateway, which you need to make some terra steel for. I've done that before, it's not bad. Um, kill the Gaia. Need to make a goblet. Okay, that doesn't seem too hard. And then pixie to make vampiric ointment. Right click on any non player, non boss creature. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the other one we have is a fusion reactor. To give us a four million energy battery okay well we got our work for it out for us i guess let's start with the musical plant seeds <laughs> see what these guys do that's the easiest one. Oh, what i do need to do is uh come in here and turn these spawners off so let's get some levers And then we'll go on a kill fest. Move out of my way, cow. Oh my goodness. All right, those are all turned off. So now we just come on here and sweeping edge. Look at the mob drop list on the right side. I just killed so many mobs. 
You too, rabbit. These guys are hard to kill. Especially with the lag I'm getting right now. Alright, you two, but you get to live. Enjoy your life as bunnies. Okay, um, I think, do I think I'm going to need, whoa, dark bunnies. I hope these aren't killer rabbits. I'm going to need any more blood than this. 400,000, I don't think so. I think we're good. Okay, I think we're going to be full on uh, space here. Okay, that is as much mob droppage as we can put in there. Um, What can we do to cut down on this? Some of these singles we can get rid of. I probably should get a, like a better storage system at some point, right? Just got another zombie. No, go down. Usually it's like once a chest fills up, I'm just trying to figure out a way to get rid of stuff that I don't never need anymore. Um Yeah. So much crap. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Just get it out of the way. Let's that just create another chest. Let's do that. They're so easy to make. Okay. So again, we need four Mary Janes. Should have those somewhere. I only have one. these anywhere else maybe they're up on uh, in the farm here a few just barely enough because I want to leave one to grow in case I ever need the other stuff better harvest this these are the ancient mossy cobble The poor nice pickaxe that it gave to me for free. I'm about to lose it. Okay, so I know I wanted four Mary Janes. I know I wanted four Normies. Don't know what went in the middle. Oh, a, ju a jukebox. So a diamond. Wood. Did those normies just get sucked up in there? I think they did. So we're gonna have to click on here instead. Dang it. <laughs> Come on, go on there. Ah, oh, another lever then. Note to future to past self, uh, build this further away <laughs> from your crafting area. Get out of the water. Two more to replace all the ones that sucked up. Alright, we got a musical seed. Okay. 
two to the one to the three. Nice. I don't know what that means. We got something right there. And it wanted us to make a, another jukebox to play for this thing. So another diamond. Some more wood. And it said something about hard like stone or obsidian. Do I have any obsidian over here? Nope. But I do have a lot of it in here. Uh, let's put some obsidian right here. Why did I make two of these? Did it just give me back one? Weird. Oh, now I need a music disc? Or I needed not to make a jukebox, I needed to make a music thing. Crap. Do I have something I didn't collect for? Oh. Didn't get the alchemistry guide book. If you put a note block. Dang it, why did I make a jukebox? I didn't even need a jukebox, and I made two of them. Should have known when I said put it on top of stone. That was, I was doing the wrong thing. Okay. All right, ready to do some dancing? Bum 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 bum. Dun dun dun. You done? Dun 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 dun. It's fully grown. Oh, I got a music disc. Hooray. What do I need a music disc for? It's part of the cadmium ingot. Huh. I was thinking it was going to give me cadmium from breaking down one of these music discs, but... Oh yeah, there we go. So we can get polyvinyl chloride, lead, and oh, there's cadmium right there. Okay, that's why it wanted us to make a music disc. Cool. I don't have any room for potatoes. What am I going to do? I've even filled up this nether thing. Look, it's like completely full. Oh, inventory, storage, trouble. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can make this dissolver then. Go ahead and link that. And let's get this also linked. Dissolver. Redstone ingot blocks. We get them from redstone. Okay. Oh, 16 should be. No, no, let's go full stack. Or full half a stack. That'll make a full stack of ingots. How many how much power we got? 19 million. Okay, this thing's kind of slow. Next, um, Neobium, we've already got. And then we need the Runic Tenebus Frame. Oh, man. Fun times. <clears throat> need to make a much more ancient gravel. I think I have ancient gravel, actually. I do. So let's do eight of that. Come up here and get eight of these. Get our advanced calculator. Should be up here somewhere. Scientific. It's a red stone. And I don't think there's a way to get more than one. No. Okay. And do we have any dark left over? We have 
one, no, 60. Craft those like that. Um, how many do we need? Four. Guess we only needed one rune, but now we have some extras. There's the runic carved bricks. And I think we need one for the dissolver, yeah. So we're gonna have to make another one of these. Another set, okay. Uh, get rid of our books. Need to eat another new meat though. Not eaten yet, not eaten yet. Oh, oops, don't need to come in here anymore. Um, we know how to make arcane gold, it's not fun. The dark matter, it's been a while, but that's more arcane dust. Electric diamonds. Okay. What about this thing? Azul machine case. So it takes less soul steel rods if you make that guy instead. Or we can do this. Or we can do this. I think this one's probably the easier. Oh, it's too glowstone. Yeah, I think we can do this one. Oh, I don't remember how to make these rods. In a while. Mist rod. That is this one. So heavy nuggets. Oh, so you end up, I guess you end up making them either way. Okay. Heavy nuggets. Start there. Some glass, I think we need more glass. Okay. So was it this way? The glass in the middle? Two mist rods. <laughs> we are so close, yet so far away. Okay, so we need an assault machine casing, four redstone, and two glowstone blocks. Need those as well. Ooh, we're out of azul. And there doesn't seem to be an easy way to get it, so claw crystal mysterious. Bam, bam, bam. Come on. Yeah, so something about this spawner, I put Enderman in it, and it was just like every time they would touch the little spikes, they would teleport for some reason. So I had like 40 Endermen all over my face. <laughs> It was like, I, I looked at my mini-map, I'm like, what are all those red dots? And then I got up, I'm like, what the heck? So, that's one of the reasons we had to get rid of Enderman. Alright, so, we need some stone. Oops. A four. That's what I needed, hopefully. Now we're getting this one. Oh, gotta make the glowstone blocks. 
I mean, there's those stabilizing cores that allow you to build the uh, the core crafting area easier. Okay, so we're upgrading now the medium to a heavy with two azul, two soul steel. Oh, I just happen to have that. Nice. All right, and now with the heavy, should be able to make this guy close anyway. Oh yeah, we still gotta make the gold. Uh, these little rocks don't have any use whatsoever other than chucking into the lava. You can throw an enderman as you want as well. <laughs> If, you're, if you get upset with them. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep this as we'll go in. And. One, two, three. Okay. So now I just need the middle thing again. Um, I need to make some diamonds. Might be enough for now. Electrified, oops. And then bloodified. I wish there was a uh, mechanical squeezer recipe for these things. Right here, these arcane crystals. They always give you two no matter what you do. Mechanical squeezer, give me three, or something like that. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Cause it means there's no reason to use the, uh, the rugged grinder in these. This is much faster. All right, um, to make the wood, four soul sand and oak. Don't think I have any soul sand or oak. Although I don't think it really needs oak. So we'll try with a menzel, or not menzel, menrol. Uh, then we need four sand. Make a little soul sand. I did think I might not, I might need more blood, so I'm gonna have to drop some more guys down. But with how many guys we can spawn now, I <laughs> think blood won't be a problem. Let's just craft it in here. Nope, you do need oak wood. Okay. Uh, diamond there. Um, for wood so I can get tons of charcoal to give to my uh, plants here, I made some spruce, the super tall spruce. That worked really nice. Come on. Okay. Now back to this metal wood. And that stuff we do what with? Smelt it. Okay. Now we just need four more arcane gold, so a ton of charcoal, some gold. I 
One more. Uh, this is a good way to get charcoal really fast. I love this heat machine. It's so nice. <gasps> Instant cooking. Okay, now I just need the blue ones. So gas tears, bone mill, prismarine. Do I have any gas tears? I need to go make them. Eight of these. So two crafts should be enough. All right, almost there. We are going to get this chemical thing done this episode. That is the goal. What am I missing? No, I'm so close. <laughs> You know what? Since I'm low on, uh, I'm really low on diamonds. There's my crook or sickle, whatever it is. Okay, that'll do. Modify this one and should have everything we need. All right, we probably needed two of these. Yep, we need one for the uh, combiner as well, but let's just at least get the dissolve dissolver done. Uh, we are going to need an output. We might need a bit of cable as well. We do get the liquefier atom atomizer right there. Probably need to just take this out. To have space. How did a bunny get in there? <laughs> There's a bunny in the okay well i'm gonna clean this all up in between episodes but for right now let's just do that and of course i forgot the most important part the variable card oh i tried to use uh, integrated dynamics to set up um, charcoal delivery to the mana thing oh no way it's like it's way too involved All right, here we go. Dissolve, dissolve a record. Polyvinyl chloride. Ooh, look at all that good stuff. Are we using tons of power? Tons, oh, yeah, it's draining a little bit. Look at all the stuff we got. Definitely need some chests. Guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. Um, there's no reward for that. 
I'll go ahead and get the uh, chemical combiner made next time and we can start trying to make some of this stuff uh, and get it all planned out of what we're going to do for each step. Um, but basically, if we look through the rest of it, um, we can make the Dark Nether Star by using some of the ruthenium and cadmium that we're going to be making. Um, that allows us then to get a Dark Rune. Yeah, crazy stuff. Um, combined with the Volcano Core chlor Block. I think he's added some things to El Elven Gateway. So we need to throw some stuff through there to get those. Get the Volcano Core Block. That'll make the Scarab. Um, where we can go to a tomb. I haven't been to a tomb probably in like three years. <laughs> but we need to go kill... Um, some of the the mobs there so we've got the guardian and the pharaoh uh, to kill there plus the gaia plus the ender dragon uh i don't know why steel donuts evolved but then eventually we'll get become the volcano master and get this trophy uh which is going to be in our runic altar with a whole mana pool uh, a bunch of steel donuts things from everything that we to show that we've beaten it all um and we'll be done well, at least with the main quests you do have the automation challenges which collect a billion of everything um i maybe we won't complete everything but we'll at least set it up to be automated i think that's a good goal to like how are we going to automate fond memories not very easy to do um, but if we can get it automating then it's just a waiting game so we don't really care at that point um come back next time if you enjoyed thanks for uh, watching hit the like button subscribe to my channel catch you later bye